So on a normal work day, um, <coughs> I wake up at about two wish in the morning, round about then. If I need to make dough to, to bake bread, I'll make dough. So at about 4 a.m. I, I start really prepping for the day. Making porridge, getting everyone's things ready for school and work, and my things also ready for school and work. So because of all these power surges and outages and things, you're never sure if anything's really on in this house. Almost didn't get cooked through, but perfect. <laughs> then at about eight o'clock, I have time for the other two children <coughs> and then at 10 o'clock I get ready to go to work then we also do the test um, check, check stock what's available what needs to what needs to be bought um, Side on drink specials and food specials, you know, yeah, that's basically. Then at the end of the day, um, cleaning up the shop, backwashing the coffee machines, yeah, generally just making sure that the shop functions. Thank you very much. It's been tough, um, it hasn't really kept up because, um, even the business is suffering hectically because of all the inflation. We thought that by now we'd be getting paid. But you're still only getting paid in tips because of how things are at the moment. So when you're working at like about 200 rand a day or something, and you look at the prices and you think, well, I wanted this, but I'm going to have to settle for that. Russia and Ukraine as Russia continues to attack Ukraine. The intensifying conflict over in Ukraine. And as Western countries ban oil and gas imports from Russia, local analysts are flagging the cost implications for us here in South Africa. As we know from basic economics, is that if there's a shortage for something and the demand is not kind of contracted itself, prices are going to tend to rise. So inflation is a concern and you can see this coming across at households being high oil prices and high fuel prices which then echo out across all consumer products and goods that are moved and transported and built in your economy because it's a factor of production. The real concern here is that monetary policy of raising interest rates to try and account for rising inflation has this double factor of impacting household income. The prices of bread oil, um, meal meal, beef, they are still ridiculously high, sugar as well, so those kinds of things, um, I have to wait for when there's a combo deal.
start cooking for supper and start prepping for the next morning all the things that I need at the time when I wake up so that they're ready for me to do. wonderful family they just make it easy <coughs> for me to spend time with them while I'm busy cooking my daughter's telling me about it, her me about her day and everything he's always upon me playing and well he usually ignores me most of the time <laughs> so it's part of the biological one right yeah I just take it one day at a time one minute at a time but yeah it's I do feel it is important to spend, even if it's a little bit of time with the kids, just checking up on their day, um, some time with my mother. So that generally, can it, it's an hour spread out over a couple of minutes throughout. Yeah.